hey guys welcome to your maths class good to see you again today we are going to learn power and square roots so what is power let me define it the power of a number says how many times to use the number in a multiplication which means that an expression that represents repeated multiplication of the same factor is called a power other names for power are index or exponent for example, 5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 5 raised to the power 2 or 5 squared. So in this example, you can see the number 5 is called the base and the number 2 is called the exponent. The exponent corresponds to the number of times the base is used as a factor. So which means that the number of times the base will be written, that number, the, the counting will be of the factor, the number of the factors will be the act number of exponent for example if we have three fives then the exponent will be three if we have six factors or we are going to multiply the same number six times then we are going to have the number six as an exponent so here in the next example you can see that we are multi multiplying five by itself three times so we are going to write it as five to the third power or 5 cubed. We write it as 5 raised to the power 3 and we call it 5 raised to the power 3 or we call it 5 cubed. And again in the other example you can see that we are multiplying 4 by itself 5 times. So we write it as 4 raised to the power 5. And in the other example you can see that we are multiplying 3 4 times by itself. So we write it as 3 raised to the power of 4. Let's move on. Now power in terms of multiplication. If two powers have the same base, then we can multiply the powers. When we multiply two powers, we add their exponents. You can see the rule that we are having here two considered a uh, base x, and we are having a product of x raised to the power a multiplied by x raised to the power b. So here we have the similar same base, that is x, x is same. So we are going to add up their exponents, that is a and b and we are going to write it as x raised to the power a plus b so we have write base as one term and we'll add their exponents up for example we are having an expression 4 raised to the power 2 multiplied by 4 raised to the power 5 so what we do is we add their powers up as according to the rule the bases are same so we are having the similar base 4 so we will add their exponents that is 2 and 5 will be added and hence we are going to have 4 raised to the power 2 plus 5 is equal to 4 raised to the power 7 which is going to give us the answer 16384 when you raise a product to a power you raise each factor with a power here you can see that we are having x dot y that is product of x and y raised to the power a so which means that every single part of the product is having is having a as its own power so which means that x raised to the power a multiplied by y raised to the power a now in another example you can see that we are having a product of two and some let consider let's consider uh, an expression x so we are having a product of 2x raised to the power 4 so here we have 2 and x 2 separate things so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to write it as 2 raised to the power 4 multiplied by x raised to the power 4 which means that 2 raised to the power 4 is going to give us 16 so we are going to have an expression 16 multiplied by x raised to the power 4 i hope you got my point it is not so difficult you just need to focus on some little rules which when you get to understand you are not going to be uh, you will face no difficulty now another, another rule, the rule for the power of a power and the power of a product can be combined into the following rule. Now what we are going to see is that we are going to have, have an expression x raised to the power a multiplied by y raised to the power b. Now the combination is raised to the power z which gives us like separately every term will be having um, is going to own the z which means that x raised to the power a multiplied by z and y raised to the power b multiplied by z which means that the combin their combined exponent z will be multiplied with each 
exponent of the every member within the brackets. Now we are going to have another example x raised to the power 3 multiplied by y raised to the power 4 and combined both raised to the power 2. Now when we open the brackets this raised to the power 2 will be multiplied by x raised to the power 3 and y raised to the power 4. So when we multiply the exponents we get x raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 and y raised to the power 4 multiplied by 2. Here we are not multiplying 2 with the base we are multiplying 2 with the exponent. As you can see in the example here you can see that we are multiplying this 3 with this 2 and this 4 with this 2 here x raised to the power 3 multiplied by 2 and y raised to the power 4 multiplied by 2. Now what we get is that 3, two, three multiplied by 2 is 6 and 4 multiplied by 2 will give us 8. I hope you got my point. Now here are some few questions for your assignment practice. Here we are having 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. So this is so easy. This means that 2 qubit. And in the last question you can see that as we solve the previous assignment you can see that x raised to the power 2 multiplied by y raised to the power 3 and z raised to the power 5 they all are a single product and they all are written as raised to the power 3 so you need to multiply this 3 separately with every basis exponent which means that you need to multiply this 3 first with this 2 and this 3 with this 3 and then this 3 with this 5 whenever you open the bracket now power in terms of division if two powers have the same base then we can divide the powers when we divide powers we subtract their exponents as in this example you can see we have written x raised to the power a divided by x raised to the power b so what we do is that in order to bring this x raised to the power b from denominator to numerator we subtract it if the bases are same we subtract this exponent with the exponent in the numerator as you can see we have written a minus b and here you can see in this example 4 raised to the power 2 divided by 4 raised to the power 5 as you write it 4 raised to the power 2 you multiply 4 twice by itself and in here in the denominator you have 4 raised to the power 5 so you, which means that you need to multiply 4 5 times by itself now these two of the 4's will cancel out these two 4's in the denominator and what you get is 1 divided by 4 raised to the power 3 now in order to bring this 4 raised to the power 3 from the denominator to, <coughs> to numerator you get the sign will change from 1 to minus 3 from positive to negative sense you can see that 4 is to the power 2 and 4 is to the power 5 so in order to bring this 4 is to the power 5 in the numerator you can write it as 4 is to the power 2 like this 4 is to the power 2 minus 4 is to the power 5 and you get 4 is to the power minus 3 let's move on here is another rule a negative exponent is the same as the reciprocal of the positive exponent which means that x raised to the power minus a in order to make it positive you can bring it from the numerator to denominator just like this in this example you can see that we have written 2 raised to the power minus 3 and when you bring it from numerator to denominator you write it as 1 divided by 2 raised to the power 3 now here are some practice questions take a look at the question work out the square of 3 Square of 3 means we need to multiply 3 twice by itself, which means 3 multiplied by 3 or 3 raised to the power 2 is equal to 9. In the next question we have work out the value of 2 raised to the power 5, which means that we need to multiply 2 5 times by itself, which means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, which is going to give us the answer 32. Now in the next question we have write as a power of 10. Here we have 10 multiplied by itself 5 times so we need to write it as a power of 10 so as a power of 10 we can write it as, write it as 10 raised to the power 5 let's move on life is an open book ready to turn the next page let's turn it now let's learn about square roots 
what are square roots square root of a number is a value that when multiplied by itself gives the number which means that when it is multiplied by itself it then gives the value finding the square root of a number is the inverse operation of squaring that number so as you have learned squaring in the power portion it's not difficult for you anymore remember the square of a number is that number times itself maybe this definition is not that fascinating for you but when you will come to the solution or when you come to solving the questions and you solve examples and practice you it, you'll find it very easy for you the perfect squares are the squares of the whole numbers symbol of a square root is this radical sign so in this example you can see that square of 3 is 9 as you have solved previously and square root of this 9 is 3 which means that it is vice versa when you find the square of that number that number is the square root of the squared number not so difficult which means that square of 3 is 9 and square root of 9 is 3 I hope you understand it now squaring a number and finding square root to square a number multiply it by itself for example 3 to the power of 2 or 3 squared can be written as 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9 which means 3 raised to the power 2 or 3 squared is equal to 9 now you have squared the number now in order to find the square root of 9 now let, I need to explain you how to find the square root now we come to the main purpose of our learning that how to find the square root now in order to find the square root you need to see that we are going to find the square root of 9 so first of all what we will do is we will find the factors of 9 as you can see the factors of 9 will be 3 multiplied by 3 gives us 9 so 3 and 3 are the factors of 9 we will write these factors in the under root that is square root we also call square root as the under root so do not get confused with that uh, under root uh, square root 3 multiplied by 3 or this thing as you can see here whatever is happening it's not so difficult what we do is that we factorize 9 we find the factors 3 and 3 so we multiply them as they are equal to 9 and then we write it like this and then as you can see these uh, this is the square of 3 so 3 to the power of 2 we write it like this now the main thing you need to understand is that this radical sign this sign of square square root it is basically the brackets having power raised to 1 by 2 I hope you got my point now that this radical sign anything written between it is basically these are the brackets like this just like this see 3 is to power 2 was first written inside this radical sign and now you have written it in this bracket with 1, ra one by raised to the power 1 by 2 I hope you got it now so now what happens is that we take the square outside the bracket and it gets multiplied by 1 by 2 which means that 2 divided by 2 will give us 1 so here we have 1 and we get the answer 3 because 3 raised to the power will, to the power 1 will give us always 3 I hope now it's not difficult for you to find a square root of any number squaring a negative number Squaring a negative number gives a positive result. If It means that if you take square of a negative number just like this here, negative 5 raised to the power 2, so which means that minus 5 is multiplied twice by itself. You are multiplying minus 5 with minus 5, which means that you just ex uh, extract this minus 1 from both 5s like this. And whenever you multiplied minus 1 with minus 1, you get a positive result. So here you multiply 5 with 5 and you get 25. Hence minus 5 raised to the power 2 is equal to 5 raised to the power 2 or 5 squared is equal to 25. So easy. Practice. Here you have a practice question. Solve square root 81. Here we will first of all find square uh, factors of 81. And we come to know that 9 and 9 when multiplied they are factors of 81 
So we will write 9 multiplied by 9 inside the square root and then we get 9 square and then this square will be cancelled by 1 by 2 of the square root and we get the answer 9. Now in the next question find the square root of 36. So same and square root 36 is equal to square root 6 multiplied by 6 and now 6 to the power 2 or 6 squared is written inside this square root. Now this 2 will cancel again the 1 by 2 of this square root and we get the answer 6. Same for this square root of 225. Now let's move on. Here are some assignments for your own practice for your um, practice so that you can be good at maths. Find the square root of 25. Find the square root of 196. You need to find the factors of these both and after factorization you need to see whether any of the any of the factors when you multiply them with themselves and they give this result. There is no friend as loyal as a book. We are done with today. Thank you so much for watching my video. Keep following my lectures to get best at maths. See you soon. Goodbye for now.